This video will show how to perform matrix multiplication using the Desmos matrix calculator. I do have other videos that show several examples of how to multiply matrices by hand, but the Desmos matrix calculator is a nice way to double check work. Let's begin by identifying the dimensions of each matrix. Matrix A has three rows and two columns. Matrix A is a three by two matrix. Matrix B is also a three by two matrix. Again, because matrix B has three rows and two columns. Matrix C has two rows and three columns. Matrix C is a two by three matrix. Matrix D has three rows and one column. Matrix D is a three by one matrix. Remember, in order to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So for number one, we're asked to find A times C. Well, A is a three by two matrix. C is a two by three matrix. Notice how the number of columns in the first matrix equals number of rows in the second matrix, which indicates the product does exist and the number of rows in the first matrix, the number of columns in the second matrix indicate the dimensions of the product. A times C is going to be a three by three matrix. Number two, we have matrix C times matrix A. Matrix C is a two by three matrix. Matrix A is a three by two matrix. Three equals three is true, and therefore the product does exist, and the product is a two by two matrix. Next we have matrix C times matrix D. Matrix C is a two by three matrix. Matrix D is a three by one matrix. Three equals three is true. And we know the product is a two by one matrix. So two rows and one column. And then finally we have matrix D times matrix C. Matrix D is a three by one matrix. Matrix C is a two by three matrix. Notice for this product, one does not equal two, and therefore D times C is undefined. But we'll also check to see what the Desmos calculator says about this product. The next step is enter all the matrices into the Desmos matrix calculator. I already have some existing matrices in the calculator, so I'm going to press clear all, click new matrix for matrix A, change the dimensions to three rows by two columns, enter the elements, two, right arrow, six, right arrow, and so on. After the last element, press enter. Now let's enter matrix B. New matrix is assigned matrix B by default. Change the dimensions to a three by two matrix, and again, enter the elements, three, right arrow, negative four, right arrow, and so on. Enter. Let's move the calculator to the left. Enter matrix C. Click new matrix. Matrix C is a two by three matrix. Change the number of columns to three and enter the elements. One, right arrow, zero, right arrow, and so on. Notice how here I made a mistake. I'm going to press the left arrow and make the corrections. Double check the elements, enter, and now enter matrix D, click new matrix. Matrix D is a three by one matrix. Change the number of rows to three, number of columns to one, and enter the elements. It's worth double checking all of the entries for the four matrices. If one element is incorrect, of course we will get the incorrect product. And now to find matrix A times matrix C, we enter A, C, enter. Or if we want A times C, we'll give the same result. Let's also find matrix C times matrix A. And let's record these results. 
Notice these two results verify matrix multiplication is not commutative. And now let's find matrix C times matrix D. And let's also see what happens when we enter D times C, which we know is undefined. If we move the cursor over the orange triangle on the right, notice how it says cannot multiply matrices with incompatible dimensions, which means again the product is undefined. Let's go ahead and record the result of matrix C times matrix D. I hope you found this helpful.